Come on. <laughs> Push. Keep on going. Push. Come on. Hello, all I'm Bonner Show, everybody. You know what it is. Matthew from LaCroix Bros Bodybuilding MB3. And today, we're going to do, I don't know what, legs or something. But I figured, I found, I was going through my room ready to move into college again. And I found some old pre-workout samples. And this is like the oldest thing ever from like three years ago at the Arnold. It's called Napalm, just some random pre-workout, I don't know. So, and it's so old. And I think Doug tried it a long time ago and he said it was terrible tasting. So, we're going to test it out now. I'm, I'm going to actually mix it. It's a fruit punch flavor. I'm going to mix it with fruit punch Kool-Aid, or maybe it's cherry, I don't know. But just mix a little in there. And you can see the color. I don't know if you can see, but it's like yellow. It looks like sand. <laughs> okay. Get a close-up of this. Ugh. I guess I've got to stir this in. It probably won't dissolve in it either. This is going to be rough. Ugh. Look, this is. Come up, camera man. Ugh. I can't even drink this. And it's probably so old it won't even work. I don't know if that's how it works, but. Update. It's not really dissolving very well. Keep on stirring. It smells okay. I think it's better because I'm mixing it not with water, but with Kool Aid. I think I'm just going to have to down this. It's been like 30 seconds of stirring, maybe more. Ugh. I ain't... Ugh. It's too old to dissolve. Okay. Nothing even. I don't know if I even got any. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That was terrible. Did you not? Alright, napalm. I think I only drank a little bit of it because it didn't dissolve into the liquid and it was just like gritty and sandy and it probably won't even work either it's so old so that's why i don't use supplements all right so we decided to do a little legs today as you can see and we're just going by feel today like i said it's been a while since i've been in the gym let alone leg day this is one of our last days so i kind of want to actually max out but i know that's probably a bad idea but like I said, we're gonna go by feel, see how it feels. They're just warming up. Getting closer now, 315. One rep, let's go. Come on. Easy, let's go. Come on. Easy. Ooh. Getting this on tape. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. Uh, I feel like the longest time on my life. Yeah. Oh, what do you think of that? Uh, Damn you, Anger. I'm so pissed off right now. Uh, Damn, I had that. I knew it. Yep. I knew it. Continuing your education and doing it's getting ready. Yeah. Wait, 20 time. 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 Let's go. Come on. Get it. Come on. Let's go. Easy. Push. Hell yeah. So easy. <laughs> that, that was cool. Man. Yeah. <sighs> Easy. 345. Woo! Come on. Let's go. Yep. Easy. Come on. 
Come on. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Push. Hell yeah. That was good. Ooh, silence is key. Oh, that was right there. That's a grinder. Yeah, that was about halfway up. I felt it kind of. Let's go. Our right, Doug's finishing his squat with a little 135, easy weight, but front squats here. We don't do this very often. <laughs> this is the stance we use. It feels better on our shoulders. Really working the quads. There he's below parallel. Man, that looks good. Constant tension, not really stopping at the top or the bottom. Not locking out either. Whew, I can tell it's burning. I know that feel. Come on, here we go. <laughs> Yep, you're supposed to press up. Whew. It was more of a direct quad. It's not much of a hamstring movement, but oh, you'll feel it. It'll get you. All right, guys. After that PR, we're going all out. Was that one, two, three, four, five, six plates on each side? Never done this much either. Yeah, this is technically a PR for our leg press, but the thing is, is all leg presses are kind of different. This one, I say, it's pretty heavy though, still. Here we go. Come on. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Yeah. All the way down. Good. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Keep on going. Come on. Push. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Last one. Come on. Let's go. Push. Yeah. Woo. You can feel the intensity. I was going to stop at six, but why not go ten? Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I think my legs grew a little bit from that set. Doug's turn. There's, what do we got? Six plates again. Holy mackerel. Big time PR. Just going as many as we can. No leg wraps. Here we go. Come on. Push. Push. Easy. Come on. Come on. Push. Keep on going. Push. Come on. Just getting started. Push. Woo. Don't mind the screaming. <laughs> so it's involuntary, it's I promise. Oh my gosh. You know, finally finding it actually useful to be grunting. I always get angry at people doing that, but that's because they're just doing easy weight. I think I might pass out after that. So. Yeah. Woo! Good luck getting up. Closing out the workout with uh, some hamstring curls. Then we'll hit up some quad extensions. But oh man, let me tell you, this has been an absolutely crazy intense workout. I'm exhausted. We hit PR, I mean, I've had three different sets on Tato that were PRs for squats. Then we went to the heavy incline, which is a PR as well. Sometimes you just feel it like, they just, all the right things fall in the right places, like your intensity and the way you feel and the way the weight feels. It just was on point for me today. Yeah, definitely the stars were aligned today because <laughs> on our way to the gym, we didn't even know that we were gonna do legs. We just decided when we got here. And it's been one of the best leg workouts I've ever had. So, closing it out with some, uh, more counts, yeah, isolation, concentration movements. More hypertrophy. Yep. So, hope you guys like this video. Speaking of that, you can like the video. Throw it on a comment and even subscribe. Remember guys, there's always more on the way. So, stay tuned. And we'll move up to six sets of three. Wow. Look at the depth. All right, old Dougie's feeling the depth. Oh yeah. <laughs> 